Hey there, everybody. My name is Ryan Kramer with Ryan's Travels, and this is my son, Tristan. Uh, he is visiting me in Thailand, and today we are going to do a review of the Absolute Bangla Suites in uh, Patong, which is in Phuket, Thailand. I, Tristan's been out here for a little bit, so I wanted to take him somewhere nice uh, over in Phuket, spend some time over in the walking streets, and you know, let him have some fun over there. Uh, so we went on to Agoda. I looked for a place to stay. Turned out Absolute Bangla Suites was on there. It got all types of really great reviews. It ended up being a penthouse that I got. So I'm gonna do a video, a quick walkthrough tour of it and explain some of the things that were good about it. But mostly, to be quite honest with you, most things are bad about it. Before we go any further, don't forget to click and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out. I can keep doing these if you keep subscribing and liking and sharing. So I uh, appreciate it. Say hi, Tristan. Hello. All right, good, that's my son. 21 years old, yeah. good kid. All right, anyway, so let's get along here. The first issue, so I went in and this particular hotel is right off of Bangla Road. So it's really hard to access from uh, taxis. You actually have to get off at the end of the road and walk up, not such a big deal. What is a big deal is, and I did know about this when I traveled to Patong before. By the way, I live in Pattaya and it's the same deal with like the women and everything else. But here in Patong, especially Bela Suites, they have a guest surcharge. So basically they charge you, if you bring a girl back or a guy back, whatever your preference is, or lady boy for that matter, back to the room. They actually charge you money to do that. And I'm not a big fan of that, but I understand why they do that. And when I discussed it with the manager over at Absolute Bangla Suites, they gave me some cockamamie excuse. So here's the thing, I paid a good amount of money for this and it was a penthouse. And uh, we'll go walk through it in a minute, like I said. It being a penthouse and paying a lot more money, uh, something like that would actually should be included. I know this because again, where I live in, in uh, Pattaya, I live in a really nice place at this point and uh, that's never an issue. But some of the other places do charge to bring guests back to the room. The actual cost for this guest fee is 1,500 baht per night, which is insane because the women are about 3,000. So they want to pay 3,000 plus 1,500 on top of that, which is crazy. When I was here in June, the other place that I stayed was like 400. Now this is crazy. This is just not only for women, but this is any guest. So I have a friend of mine uh, from the UFC who's training over in uh, Phuket right now. I wanted him to come hang out with us, but for me to take him to my room, literally just take him to my room, I had to pay 1,500 baht per day for it, which is insane. I'm not paying 40, $50 for that. I mean, that's just absolutely ludicrous. So I said, well, what if I take, cause he checked in with me. I said, what if I take Tristan off and then I leave it open for someone else? He like, knows whoever checks in is who that secondary person is on there. Anybody uh, after that is 1500. That's a big no, no, especially again with a penthouse and everything else. Not to mention it's super shady that they don't put that on the website. They don't put it on Agoda and this will most likely become a chargeback on my American Express. Uh, because of the fact that it was not put in writing. So I'll get there, this is my review, and I'll of course go on all the other websites and do my stuff as well because that's what I do. The next issue that I have is the internet speed. You would think being in that type of area that the internet speed would be good, especially once again in a five star or whatever they called it on the go. It was super good, well reviewed. It was the very first thing that came up. My download and upload speed, download speed was 17 megs per second. That was the best one that I had. I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I gave it like, I don't know, 10 different times and they have three different or four different access points. I tried Bangla one, two, three, and four. None of them would be good. 17 was the best. It was so slow that when UFC was on at night or the next morning, I would say, I couldn't even watch it. I had to like, wait for it to like completely download and then watch it later in the day because it just, I couldn't stream. It was too slow to stream. That was a massive no-no, especially at this time, this day and age with the internet and everything else. The other thing with that too is we couldn't both be on the internet at the same time. So if I was on the Wi-Fi, my dad was on the Wi-Fi and I went on my phone while let's say UFC was on, it would crash the UFC and we'd have to start all over again. So for most of the time I was just off Wi-Fi. Which is no bueno for a 21 year old kid from America. So. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'm also going to pan real quick to the videos we're talking here. Going up and down the elevators was horrendous. I need everyone who's first people watching this. I'm very positive in all of my reviews that I do. In fact, I don't even like to do a review on somebody if I don't like him. But this was so bad and such a ripoff that I'm just, I just have to I have to do it. So the elevator buttons didn't even work. I tried to hit them on the fourth floor, hit down, hit down, nothing's working. When I'm just walking downstairs. Now, when we go up from the downstairs, of course it works because I guess more people are conscious of that button, but it is what it is. So let's start going through here and checking out. What we're seeing here is walking down the hallway from, yeah. from the elevator. And we'll go in here and you'll see, I'm right across from the, the noise room over there. The walls are paper thin as well. It looked pretty nice walking down. I knew it was a little 80s looking. I guess it was built in 2010, 
10. I don't, I have to double check, but it's not relevant. Anyway, we're walking in here, presents nice, looks almost like a Las Vegas type of place. Nice couches, nice full kitchen. It has a microwave. All this is very good. This all looks nice. Again, the decor is a little, eh, but it's okay. It's clean and that's what matters. There were no bugs. Everything else worked pretty well and we're good. But who would get a big penthouse like this if you can't have friends up there? Even if they're quiet ones, right? So this is the bedroom. Taking a quick look through here. Outside, we'll, we'll pan over to it. There's a hot tub outside. But again, what's the point of a hot tub? If you can't put more than one person in it, that's not being charged 1500 baht. Uh, there's a bed you can share with somebody for the low, low price of 1500 baht as well. And this is a pretty nice uh, bathroom. There I am in the mirror. Say hi, Ryan, okay. And then we have the, you know, the toilet was nice. Everything was pretty good here. You know, it's, it's not much to, to, to worry about. I would say that the shower was a little odd because when you shower, everything gets wet out on the floor because there's no door anywhere, but I live with it, no big deal. The water pressure was good enough. Everything else is pretty good. There's not much to complain about here. The, um, the bed, I woke up really, really sore. It was not the most comfortable bed in the world. There's Tristan hanging out there while I'm doing this. This happens to be, like I said, right off of Bangla Road. And so if you look outside, you're gonna see all the, it's, you know, all the partying, everything going on. It is very loud. That's okay. I'm not really worried about that. It just, it is what it is. So when I did the booking with Agoda, just so you know what the cost was, it was a four-star hotel, it says, and uh, one penthouse city view. Wi-Fi was a big benefit, drinking water, you know, free Wi-Fi, et cetera, et cetera. For two adults, for two nights, it was $256 which is really, really, really expensive for Pata. I mean, you can get a nice place for $50. I mean, it was only because it was closer to Bangla, a little closer than I would like, but I live with it anyway. That's what the cost was. But, you know, if you take that amount of money that's being paid, think about the 1500 baht, man, there's no way they should be trying to charge that. That really put a big wrench in everything because you're paying for a woman to come back to your room, if that's what you do. Because, I mean, if you go on Bangla Road or a walking street, it's all go-go bars. If this is like someone looking to go on a family-friendly place, I see people there with kids and strollers. I have no idea why they do this, but it's like one big red light district. So I don't know why they would do that, but again, $256 is just crazy. Anyway, when it comes to the uh, absolute Bangla Suites, I would not go there again. I would find many other places to go. So thank you for uh, checking this out. Uh, by the way, I did go March 18th to March 20th. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. Share this with a friend. Stay tuned for some more videos. We're gonna get some more going. Have a good day.